What's up everyone? This is Scott with Team 512 and I'm back with another video. Today, I am finally getting X-Bell put on the C7. I am at Modern Elix here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, getting ready to get some X-Bell Ultimate Plus applied to the C7. I've got the C5 out today, even though it's a cold, winter afternoon in Pennsylvania. You gotta drive the Corvettes, right? You gotta drive them. So, Modern Elix is co-located with Museo Detail, which is a high-end detailing shop here in Westchester as well. I'll put their information down in the description. You guys can check them out too. So a very important first step to apply an X-Bell to any automobile is making sure the paint and the surface is extremely clean. So that's what's happening right now. So let's go inside and check it out. I'm freezing. Come on guys, let's go. All right, so here you can see the C7 getting prepped. Right, guys so the c7 is now up on the lift continuing to prep the car for the x-bell installation and one of the things we have to do is remove the grand sport stripes actually that's kind of a cool look right there but don't worry i've got new ones in the trunk so they're gonna be applied over top of the X-Bell. We'll have a nice, clean, factory look. I feel like my Grand Sport's been neutered without the stripes. All right, for all the haters that didn't like the red pinstripe, here you go. For everyone else that's left, like me, that loved the red pinstripe, don't worry, they're coming back after we put the X-Bell on. All right, now the C7 is officially neutered. It no longer has an emblem. All right, you guys, so the prep process continues. And I think the biggest surprise that I have is just how much prep work goes into the car before they even start laying the film down. The stripes got removed, the badge got removed in the front. We did some touch-up paint on some small rock chips on the front of the car. So when you guys go and get paint protection film put on, it's not as easy as just cleaning the car and then throwing it down. You really have to take a lot of pride, care, and attention into the work to get it done properly. And that's the main reason why I'm here at Modern Elix. All right, you guys, so we just installed a small piece of x -Bell Ultimate Plus on the back of the C5 here because we wanna to prove to you how well this stuff actually heals itself. So I have this brand new brass bristle brush here and I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> scratch up this piece of X-Bell. I mean, look at that, guys. I hope you can see that. Now, we're gonna apply a little bit of heat on there, and uh, the plan is to make those scratches go away, so we'll see what happens here. All right, go ahead, Jay, see what happens. Dude, that is crazy. Look at that, you guys. All of those scratches, and I was pushing pretty hard on it too. All of those scratches are gone. You see a little bit of smudging there. That's just from my fingers. All right, we're gonna wipe it off now. Check this out, you guys. That's insane. All right, so the first piece of x -Bell is getting ready to go on to the hood of the Grand Sport. And Jay and Evan are getting the hood nice and wet. And they're also going to wet down the piece of x -Bell as well. I was going to say moist. 
I should have said moist. The X-Bell is actually cut out to fit around certain body panels and they do that with a plotter. So check this out. These are individual pieces of X-Bell that are on this one large backing there. So they just got finished with the passenger side front fender here and I want to show you guys something real quick. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but you can still see underneath the X-Bell that there's some solution left over and you can see it down here too so that will all dry up in a few hours and you won't even know it's there you can also notice how nice the edges are around the headlights you can barely even tell there's any film on there all right so like we talked about in the last video when i was prepping this car i'm getting the competition package put on which is the entire front clip so the hood the fenders the front end even the front splitter is getting done. The A-pillars are getting covered in X-Bell as well as the mirrors. The rocker panels down here as well as side skirts here. This area here gets covered with X-Bell. And then Eddie's working back here on the back half of the uh, rear fender. So all of the areas that are more prone to rock chips and uh, road debris hitting the car are getting covered. now. One thing I would recommend that if you are planning on doing this, I would do it sooner than later. Don't wait to get this car done because any of the rock chips that continue to accumulate on your car are going to make it more difficult to hide uh, when they go and apply the X-Bell. And if you touch up the paint and you don't get it flat enough, it's going to cause a little bit of a bubble in the X-Bell. So make sure you call these guys at Modern Lick sooner than later and get your car in here and get it done. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Right here you can see there is a pretty bad rock chip that there's just no way you're going to be able to cover that and uh, make that disappear when you put the X-Bell on it. So that's what I mean. You're going to want to get your car done sooner than later. Now you can see Jay and Evan are applying the small pieces on the front of the bumper here. Now on the sides, there's also a bunch of small pieces. See if you can see them here. So those small pieces fit in this area here. So the competition kit is pretty comprehensive in terms of the coverage on the car. So here's something I didn't realize that the competition kit actually comes with X-Bell for the headlights. Dude, how awesome is that? It's like the whole front of the car, including the splitter and the headlights. And check this out. The winglets over here, X-Bell, the whole splitter, and even inside of the winglets get done as well. So yeah, I mean, it really is the entire front clip of the car. You know, it's the little stuff, right guys? More surprises with the competition package, you guys. Check this out. So this is the hood vent. And there are individual hood vent pieces of X-Bell. I know I got a little excited about the headlights. I'm just as excited about the hood vent. Remember you guys, I opted not to X-Bell the vinyl stripe here. I mean, honestly, the paint underneath the vinyl is already protected, obviously, by the red stripe. Um, I think X-Bell makes a kit for the stripes. So I guess I could put that on at some future date, but right now, I think it's okay. We're about to put the, well, I'm not about to do it. Jay's about to put the red fender hash marks back on the Grand Sport now. All right, so what's cool about the factory GM hash marks is you can see right there, the top release layer is like a template around the headlights. So they go back in the exact location that they were taken off from. All right, so what you also notice is the color red here is a little bit different than that color red, and it's only because the top release layer is that blue color. So once Jay gets the stripes in place and he's happy with where they are and there's no bubbles, he'll pull off the blue release layer. Nice, see, look at that. Nice, bright, torch red hash marks. Perfectly positioned. 
on the fender of the car and they now match the rest of the red on the car. I am rolling out for the night. They are just finishing up some of the smaller areas. And then I'll be back here tomorrow morning for the big reveal. That's gonna happen in three, two, one. Alright you guys, it's been a week since I've had the Expel installed on the C7 and I couldn't be more thrilled with the way that it turned out. In fact, my only regret is not getting it done sooner. So like I said earlier in the video, if you're thinking about getting Expel or a paint protection film, do it sooner than later because again, the rock chips are really difficult to fix and I'll show you that here real quick. All right, so right here guys, there are two rock chips that you can see uh, that were repaired before the X-Bell went on and there's a little white ring that develops around the rock chips. So you have to make a decision on rock chips, whether you wanna to try to repair them or just cover them up. And here are the brand new red Grand Sport hash mark stripes that we put on for a nice factory look. Everything is lined up just like they were when I bought the car. You can't hardly see any kind of a seam here on the X-Bell and also around the headlight looks great as well as around the side vents here. Because remember the X-Bell was cut out around the side vents and you don't see a seam anywhere. And uh, did you guys notice that glossy shine? Look how glossy this is. And the ease of maintenance on this has been great. With just some simple spray detailer and a microfiber towel, which I'll link down in the description if you guys wanna get these 500 GSM towels from the rag company. They are super, super soft. So just some spray detailer and the towel gives you this shine right off the bat. Beautiful, and it doesn't even have ceramic coat on it yet, and I think you guys noticed this box here of C Quartz UK 3.0. That will be going on the car very shortly, uh, but I do have to take care of some compounding and polishing on the areas that have no X-Bell on it. So yeah, if I had the budget to do the entire car, I would do it because of the ease of maintenance and not worrying about scratches, and I'll tell you what, Driving this car in the winter, the last week here, I've had it out on the road a few times. It's actually a really good feeling knowing that the whole front clip of the car is protected. And if anything should happen, we could just pull individual pieces off now and replace them, which is a lot less costly and a lot less of a hassle than getting panels resprayed. So that'll do it for this video. Huge shout out to the guys at Modern Elix, Jay, Eddie, and Evan. You guys knocked it out of the ballpark. If you're considering getting Expel done on your car and you're in the southeastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware area, make sure you hit up the guys at Modern Elix. And also a big shout out to Jeff at Museo Detail for getting this car nice and clean and ready for the Expel application. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and leave me some comments. You know I love interacting with people who love cars and Corvettes just as much as I do. Till next time, see ya.